friends, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this A2 size card that you see on the screen. I'm going to be using the beautiful Lovely Layers Cone Flowers and some other products from the Summer Stems release, which was just released earlier this week. This is the Lovely Layers Cone Flowers die set. This honey cut set is a standalone set that helps you create the most beautiful florals. And I am going to be die cutting that out of some bristles smooth cardstock. Now I'm going to be using a bunch of inks here. Um, I will list these uh, ink colors in the description box down below. So I'm starting off here with Apricot from Pink Fresh. I'm going to use a combination of Apricot and Coral Reef from Pink Fresh. I'm also going to be using Sweet Mango and Peach Bellini from Gina K. Uh, this here is the um, Sweet Mango I believe and let me just see here. Yes, this one is the Sweet Mango. And then I'll go in with the Peach Bellini over top of that. The Peach Bellini's got kind of like a really pretty sort of a corally tone to it as well. I'm also going to be using, like I said, the Pink Fresh Coral Reef, which is just a really pretty kind of corally pink. And I will also use Passionate Pink from Gina K to create the, the really bright pink on my cone flower. So I just really wanted a combination of pinks, peaches, kind of coral tones for this really gorgeous bloom and to create that cone flower that's just that pinky orange kind of a look. And then the center of my flower is going to be Faded Brick from Gina K, a really pretty kind of like a burnt orange color. So here you can see I'm going in now with a Gina K Passionate Pink, blending that on with my smallest Honey Bee Stamps blending tool. And really love these blending brushes for this type of coloring these large dyes. So it's really fun using these honey cuts from the Lovely Layers series, cutting them from white cardstock and then adding the color with your ink. So super fun ink blending just really relaxing and you can colorize your cone flowers whatever color you would like so here's that faded brick for the center of my flower and this die cut then you can just see the cone flower has all these different layers that die cut out and then you can layer them and once you've got them all uh, blended and you can just see I'm adding that faded brick to the center of each one of my die cut pieces. And of course you could also cut these from cardstock and add ink over top of your cardstock if you wanted, or you could even just use cardstock and not worry about inking them up. You could also die cut these out of white and color them in with your colored pencils or with your Copics. There's so many different ways that you can use this die set. So really fun. I love the Honey Bee Stamps Lovely Layers dies. There's a whole series of them now in the shop make sure that you check out all of the lovely layers including the newest edition which is this comb flowers absolutely love it it's so stunning so here you can just see I'm going to finish up this last little die cut piece here and then I will be able to color up my leaves. So I'm going to use Gina K Fresh Asparagus for the leaves and I'm actually going to just do a little bit of a darker blend around the outside edge and then just bring the color a little bit into the middle portion of the leaf leaving the darkest part on the edge and honestly this is just meant not meant to be anything too you know complicated i'm just really doing some very basic ink blending here so that you do end up with a really simple um, process to create a really beautiful card so you could actually batch these out die cut a ton of different pieces while you're doing the ink blending ink blend them all up and then start to assemble your cards really easy way to make a bunch of cards at the same time so here you can just see finishing up with that fresh asparagus i love this color of green from gina k it's just really really soft and i love it i think it goes so nice with the colors of the cone flower now this is some gina k faded brick i have cut that for an a2 size card base with a side fold and this is the summer stems paper pad that's part of the summer stems release look at all of these beautiful patterns i absolutely love and i, I know i say this in just about every video that i make for honeybee but their six by six paper pads are the best and look at these gorgeous watercolory kind of florals some beautiful different faded patterns some checks 
um, some subtle prints for backgrounds and so on and so forth. Just really beautiful prints in the color scheme that runs through this collection and I just love it. So definitely this was the inspiration for the colors that I chose for my coneflower and even though I don't necessarily I don't use one of the floral pattern papers for my project I definitely love the florals that are in this uh, paper pad so gorgeous you can see there's a text paper some really pretty nice neutrals and then there's two sheets of these sentiment strips which are perfect for cutting apart to add to your card now I'm going to be using a couple of my standard dies from way back other releases. Um, these are standard dies that I use on just about every card and I will make sure that I list these below. This is the A2 scallop frames and then of course I'm using the A2 double stitched uh, oval. Love these dies. They're so great and you can see the pattern papers that I've chosen from the Summer Stems release for my card. So I'm going to cut the oval out of this really pretty plaid. You can see that lovely pattern on the back and then this really beautiful coral and pink I'm going to I've cut from the scallop die so there I'm just going to use that as my card front on my card base there I'm going to adhere that down now this is a big mama roll of double-sided foam adhesive that is available in the honeybee shop I love it because it's three quarters of an inch wide and it makes it really great for adding some dimension to your card so I'm going to adhere this to the back of my oval and I will take that release paper off the back of the foam and just adhere this down. Just kind of center it with my eye onto my scallop uh, rectangle base here. So just going to finish adding that on, take that release paper off the back and then just using my eye, I will center that from top to bottom and side to side and get that into onto the center of my card front. I love my new Be Creative Honey Bee tweezers that are also available in the shop and of course my trusty Honey Bee Stamps glue tube which I absolutely love. There's also, you can also get a glue tube stand in the shop there's a few different varieties of these I love how that works together so now I'm just going to glue down my first layer so this is the largest coneflower die from this the uh, die cuts that I created from the honey cut set I'm going to glue that down as my base and all of the rest of the layers for my coneflower I'm going to add on with a little bit of foam adhesive just to give it a lot of pop and dimension. So I'm just going to add these little foam squares to the back of each one of my pieces here that I have die cut out and blended and ink, sorry, ink blended. And I will go ahead and layer those on. Super easy to layer these together because they all just line up perfectly. So you can just see how easy this is to layer this onto the first layer there. So I will get that adhered, just making sure I have that straight. And love these tweezers for working with these dies for sure, or these intricate die pieces, die cut pieces. And I will just, like I said, go ahead and take my foam adhesive and add that onto each one of these layers. So I'm going to just take those backers off each of those little foam squares and continue to add these together. And it's just going to give the most beautiful pop. I love it. So there we go, adding that on. And then you'll just see me adding on that last layer there with my foam. And of course you um, won't see too much the ink blending on the center part because of course that the top that is the die cut piece for the center covers up the bases. But if there's any color that pops out underneath, you will see that, which I really like. Now I'm going to adhere my leaves with a little bit of liquid adhesive, just kind of over to the sides because I do want to make sure that I leave a spot for my sentiment. And I love how that pattern paper coordinates so nicely with the colors that I chose for ink blending for my coneflower. But these coneflowers could be whatever colors you want them to be. When you're making your cards, it doesn't matter if there's an actual coneflower, the colors that you choose. I think it's just important that you choose colors that you love. And that's what I did. Okay, so I'm going to use this sentiment here. The sentiment says to my sweetest friend 
and I am going to trim that out from this strip of sentiments that was on that pattern paper pad and I'm just going to pop that up on a little bit of foam adhesive and adhere that just below my cone flower. Um, I just thought that was a logical spot to put the sentiment still leaving a little bit of that plaid patterned paper showing and it leaves about the same amount of plaid patterned paper <laughs> below the sentiment as above the top of the flower. So I'm going to just pop that on and I'm also going to finish my card off with some of the gem stickers from this release. With each release Honeybee Stamps releases um, new gem stickers and I love these things. They're so easy to adhere. They already have the adhesive on them and so you just simply pick them up with whatever you want to pick them up with. I'm using my craft pick but you could totally use tweezers or the end of your scissors whatever and they're just so easy they come off of there super simple and then you can place those down the ones that I'm using off of this particular sheet are kind of an iridescent color which is really pretty and I'm going to put three up at the top and then I will put two down at the bottom below the sentiment and that will finish off most of my card details I do want to add a little bit of white splatter to my card and I'm going to add that with a little bit of Dina Wakely white gloss spray you could also achieve the same look by watering down a little bit of white acrylic paint or if you have a little bit of gesso in your stash anything like that and you can just water that down and splatter it on and it just adds just a really nice little bit of extra detail on top of your flower. I had so much fun creating this. I hope you enjoyed watching. I have linked up to all of the products that I used in the description box below. And if you haven't checked out the summer stems released from Honeybee Stamps, it is absolutely stunning. There's so many beautiful new products in the shop. Make sure you check it out. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope you stay safe and stay well. And I hope to see you soon here again on the Honeybee channel. Stay safe, friends. Bye-bye.